So far, we're basing this information on um, a statement put out by traditional and religious leaders who are reportedly leading mediations between Ibrahim Traoré and Paul-Henri Demiba. Um, you know, that statement has announced that um, Ibrahim Traoré has agreed to a several, several conditions made out by Paul-Henri Demiba. Notably, um, you know, some of these conditions include the fact that uh, the new president should respect the agreements already made with the ECOWAS group, that the new government should um, keep on protecting the population and that Demiba and those who followed him um, you know, will not be prosecuted and that their safety will be guaranteed. Um, so what we understand from now is that uh, Ibrahim Traoré has agreed to these conditional um, to this, these conditions, really, and he will be taking on uh, the daily daily task of running the government until a president has been appointed. Okay, Sophie. I mean, we spoke yesterday. There was, you know, various events happening in Ouagadougou, helicopters, you know, a tense atmosphere. Is that level of tension still there today? Have things calmed down? What's going on where you are? Um, there has been quite a lot of movement here in Ouagadougou. Thousands of people taken to the street, to the streets. Um, Ibrahim Traoré made his first public appearance earlier today as he travelled to the RTV telecommunication centre, where he made a public announcement earlier. You know, calling for a return to calm and stability. And we saw he was standing outside of his um, armed vehicle, and we saw people cheering him on, you know, screaming, calling him president as he drove by. And overall, we've been hearing, you know, all day, um, cars honking, motorcycle engines rumbling. And we've also been seeing a lot of Russian flags being flown around the streets of Ouagadougou. Um, there is still a sense of animosity in the sense that we've been seeing protesters, um, you know, promote some anti-French um, discourses, but we haven't seen uh, some of the vandalism that we've seen in the last few, um, I mean, this morning and yesterday, uh, particularly directed at the French embassy. We haven't seen any of that, but the situation does remain volatile.